Ciao everyone, Roberto Marotta. I'm the chef and owner at uh, Dova and Arbor Restaurant. Today we are at Dova Restaurant and uh, I'm here to show you a, a classic of a Sicilian cuisine called uh, uh, broccoli riminati. Here we have the ingredient. Uh, I want to just take a minute to say uh, thank you for the opportunity to film this video and uh, I want to send a little message to all my colleagues and uh, the industry out there. Um, everybody's been very you know, strong and positive and we're gonna I think we're gonna be over soon, so keep it tight. So the recipe that we do today, it's a Sicilian classic, uh, a broccoli riminati. We have our uh, our fresh bucatini that uh, we des we decide to do here, fresh in house using two in two flour, one Canadian, one Sicilian. You guys at home can also use uh, any kind of bucatini you can find in a uh, food store. We have a uh, golden raisin. Uh, saffron and some uh, uh, roast pinnets. Here we have something uh, unique today. This is a is a is come from the family of the cauliflower. It's called Romanesco. The traditional recipe usually usually asks for a, a green cauliflower. Sometimes not easy to find here in Canada. So I use something that is very similar and also looks super nice. As uh, you guys can see. Here we have some uh, uh, breadcrumb. It's been a little bit tossed in the oven and we had some uh, parsley, uh, chili, and a little bit of pecorino. We have uh, some salted and chauvis from Sicily. Then we're gonna fillet, and we're gonna use it later on in our recipe. Uh, uh, pecorino siciliano. Please don't use any pecorino romano because it's very different than this. And we have a shallots. Then we're gonna uh, chop super fine, how you can see, in the plate. Okay, we're gonna cook our recipe. So we have some water boiling. Make sure you put enough salt. I like uh, to have a reference for the water. The water is supposed to taste like the the ocean back home, but I will say 15 gram of salt every four liter of water. Uh, here we have our Romanesco that we we chop in a little quarter. We're gonna chop the not water and we'll let it cook until soft. Okay. Now it's a, it's time to chop our pasta or bucatini. Pasta it is ready. Flour it kind of become a little bit more creamier. I'm very excited with the consistency and the bite. The mix of Italian, uh, the mix of Sicilian and Canadian semolina give us a very great final product. They're almost ready to play. What we're gonna do? We're gonna add a little bit of the grated picorino uh, from Sicily we grated before. Cauliflower, it will look great on the plate. And we 
we are ready to plate. I'm gonna go plate it. Here we are ready to plate. If you guys, uh, pretty sure everybody have uh, some tongue, not necessarily this thin one at home. And uh, make sure your pl plate is warm. It's always nice to, you know, put a warm pasta on a little bit warm plate. Just keep the plate a few minutes in the oven. And that will be the best way. Here we're gonna finish garnish. Remaining now finish it. We have a two final touch, actually, three. You're gonna put a little bit more pine nuts if you like on top, and we have a two option. We're gonna use the we're gonna use the pecorino if you just guys like only cheese so we're gonna create some fresh sesame pecorino on top like that and we can add a little bit of the breadcrumb to give it some crunchiness and don't forget to use a, a great possibly sesame extra virgin olive oil to finish your plate Broccoli eliminata, a Sicilian classic.